Uninformed immigrants are at a huge disadvantage in court, in financial and legal matters, and also sometimes in life. Well, what can we do about it? I'll tell you what. We can train, teach, inspire, and empower immigrants to maximize their lives regardless of their immigration status. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. I am your immigration lawyer and host, Otis Landerholm, and this is the Empowered Immigrant Podcast. How do you keep your green card? You've won your green card. Now you want to keep it. You want to preserve it. You want to protect it. You want to, you know, maintain it. So how do you do that? First of all, first of all, let's, we got to do the basics, right? First of all, don't leave the U.S. and stay out of the U.S. for more than 180 days. Okay? That's like the very basic. Don't leave the U.S. for more than 180 days. Yes, a green card comes with travel authorization. You can travel in and out of the U.S. Use your passport when you go to your home country. Use your green card, along with your passport, both, when you come back to the U.S. Show the green card on re-entry into the U.S. But don't leave for more than 180 days. Why? One, because it causes a disruption in the physical presence requirement for citizenship. At least it can do that. And two, it causes you to be to require being subject to readmission by Border Patrol on entry. That can often lead to a secondary inspection where Border Patrol has to pull you aside and ask you all kinds of questions. What have you been doing outside the U.S. and things like that? It is just highly recommendable to never stay outside the U.S. for more than six months. Okay? But now hold on a second. Hold on a second. What if there's something else? What if you've got a special situation? What if, if you've got a green card and you've got a special situation, you've got some circumstances, you've got to leave the U.S. for a longer period of time, all right, then what? Advice, get a re-entry permit first. We do a re-entry permit. It's on Form I-131. They aren't that difficult to get, all right? They aren't that difficult to get. And they can give you up to two years out of the U.S. And you get this little booklet. So now you've got three travel documents. You've got your passport, your green card, and this re-entry permit. And the three of them together you can show to Border Patrol and allow you to come in, no questions asked, up to two years out of the U.S. All right? And they're renewable. Okay? So re-entry permits are worth it if you've got a special situation, if you need to be outside the U.S. for a longer period of time. Got it? Okay. And sometimes people ask, yo, Otis, yo, attorney, abogado, yeah? I've already been out of the U.S. for a long time, all right, for too long. Maybe I've already been out of the U.S. for over two years, right? If you're in that situation, talk to an attorney first. The reason is that sometimes you have arguments to just, hey, come back to the, you know, buy a plane ticket and come on back. All right? But here's the way to do it. Here's the way to do it. All right? Imagine you were out and you were unable to come back because of, say, the COVID-19 pandemic. All right? Or say you were out and you were diagnosed with some medical condition, right? And the doctor was like, yo, you imagine you were diagnosed with cancer. You're out of the United States and you got to go through treatment and stuff in your home country. And it's not wise for you to just leave your doctor and come back to the U.S. just because of an immigration thing, right? Or if there's some other thing that's outside of your control, maybe your parents had some kind of medical issue, and they needed your support, right? If you're in that situation, sometimes the best advice is, hey, yeah, you were out for for two years, right? Let's buy your plane tickets. Let's, our office could write you a travel letter where we detail what exactly happened, detail why you never intended to, quote-unquote, abandon 
your residence. And we basically ask, we ask Border Patrol, it's in their discretion, we ask Border Patrol to allow you back in, and we argue that one, you never intended to abandon your residence, and two, if they disagree with you, please allow you to fight that case in court in front of an immigration judge, and by the way, you've already retained an, a, an attorney to help you with that, all right, if it becomes necessary, all right, like you've got a law firm ready to vouch for you. And you can do that, all right? You can do that. My office has won that, all right? We recently won that on a case for a uh, elderly woman who had been outside of the United States for over three years, okay? It is possible. And now she's back in the U.S. and she's got her green card, right? And she was not sent to immigration court. It is possible. It depends on the facts in your case, and it also depends on the Border Patrol official who you meet with, because it is, Border Patrol does have a lot of power at the, you know, at the port of entry at the airport. Okay, so I wanted to say that. What else do you need to know, all right? As a permanent resident, you should avoid certain things, right? As an immigrant, period, you should avoid certain things. For example, don't get arrested, right? That's, don't, don't, don't violate any law. All right. Another one, though, you might not know of, sometimes people get tricked about this, don't vote and don't even register to vote. Okay, sometimes the voter people at election time, they're like, hey, are you registered to vote? Hey, are you registered to vote? You need to register to vote. You got to, you know, support our democracy. Great. Only if you're a U.S. citizen. If you're a green card holder, do not register to vote. That can be used against you. All right. Number three should be obvious, but sometimes it's not. The advice is do not use, possess, cultivate, sell, transport any drug, including including marijuana, even in a state where marijuana has supposedly been legalized. Don't, all right? Marijuana is illegal under federal law still. Hopefully it won't be forever, right? There's activism right, pushing Congress to remove marijuana from the Federal Controlled Substances Act. But right now, it can cause you to become deportable, all right? So don't have anything to do with marijuana is the third thing to avoid. Fourth is do not say that you're a U.S. citizen for any reason, okay? Always say, no, I've got a green card. I'm not a U.S. citizen. Don't check any box on a job application saying you're a U.S. citizen, things like that. Immigration takes that stuff super seriously. And number five of the big, the big ones, right, is don't help family members, don't help anybody enter the U.S. without permission. Don't pay for a coyote to bring in an aunt or a family member just because their situation is super tragic, right, because it can go much worse for them, you, for everybody, all right? Any of those things can cause you to be put into deportation proceedings, and so avoid them. Don't do them, okay? And so um, that's really it. That's really it. The bottom line is green cards are valuable. Green cards, like, it's your freedom. It's, it's, It's the ability to apply for citizenship in the future. It's the ability to work anywhere you want to, to travel as you want to, to live the life you want. All right, wherever it is, in the U.S., outside the U.S., and then have the freedom to come back in, whatever. So once you have it, protect it. Use it well, all right? And then, um, you know, at three to five years in the future, depending on your situation, have the conversation to discuss becoming a U.S. citizen, which brings a heightened level of freedom, travel travel rights, etc. Okay, so uh, that's it. That's my theme for today. I hope it was helpful. And so thank you all so much for being with me. My name's Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. If you've got an immigration case, hey, please give us a call. We are here to help. And hey, I'll see you all on the next episode of the Empowered Immigrant Live.